I've never been comfortable around that 50 to 80 yard. Should go left. I-59 irons. Yes, sir. Go back to the four to start. Correct. Immediately a different feeling. Uh -huh. Like immediately. And seven iron. That's what I've been seeing when I hit them. Definitely a tighter grouping. Oh, without a doubt. When I'm hitting them, um, you know, that's really what prompted the purchase is and the thought that I'm going to have a tighter grouping. And you're launch and your spin are both higher so that that explains the distance yeah see there's a 14.3 4800 spin 14 48 you know they're not sucking back but they i can count on the avx's just to get it in a nice little tight circle when it lands yeah and the four iron's stopping a little quicker all right so i've done fittings now with tim for started maybe five ago i would yeah. say yeah i'd say five multiple times he's told me what to buy and I've explored differently and ended up right back where he told me, you know, most recent, even the Cobras got them fitted standard. I had a wild hair that I needed them upright, adjusted them upright. Two weeks later, came back in and had uh, Tim bend them back as low as he could back to standard. <laughs> so I am uh, trusted in the process at this point. Most recently, uh, I just came in for literally just the lob wedge. Uh, I was playing the sim with the kids, saw it, thought how good looking it was and then decided to explore some of the irons over there and I think it was just the, only the second one I tested right yeah I, I, I thought I wanted the 230 it wasn't great it wasn't any better yeah he mentioned oh well look at the i59 it's a lot closer in profile hit that and um I mean it was really the dispersion was the factor I'm not looking yeah. for more distance it was just you know getting as tight as I could so now we're uh, going through the whole set and trying to get distances, see if there's gaps, see if it's worth maybe increasing some of the lofts if needed. But uh, here we go. Here we go. I'd say, yeah, that, those three are probably... Yeah. Probably the play. The launch was a little lower, but your spin was good on that. Okay. You thought it was going to be shorter? Yeah, for sure. Out on the course, you do. You are a little more aggressive. Give this the four to four. Uh, hit. Yep. So this is the one where it's been noticeably shorter. Yeah, because if it's only one thirty, yeah, that's too close to the fifty. That's awful. That's the first solid shot. That one had a pretty good draw swing on it. Yeah, see, and that's, that's almost centered. Just the impact of that. Yep. And that's what I've been seeing on the course. So I'm thinking maybe taking this one and going a degree or two down. Let's see where the others are. Kip. First. I am going to take those two out that are really deep. And so we're going uh, nine iron? Nine iron. I mean, if I was going to do anything, I would probably do like a yeah, one degree strong on the pitch and one degree weak on the 50-54. Mm. Because you have a gapping here, too. Yep. Eight iron? This is the eight. Okay. Well, consistency there. On to the five. That was better struck. There we go. Goes to the two. <laughs> two iron. 
Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good representation. <laughs> Making the 54 one degree weaker. Yep. And the pitching wedge one degree stronger, but leaving the 50 as is. Yeah, I like that. Even though this gapping's okay, I can get this so close with a five yeah. that I would rather shore up the gap between the two and the four. So making the four more like a three maybe? Yes. The standard on the four is 23 and a half. It's 22 with the power spec. Yeah, correct, 22. So go 22, that's basically the power spec? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. You know, that would get you closer. I like that. So we got pitching wedge, lob wedge, and four. Let's bend them. So that was one and a half, correct? Yep, that's correct. You said it was 23 and a half? That's the standard. I'm gonna take it to that. Okay. Do these clubs move pretty well? Yeah, I mean, not as easy as some of them. Yeah. <laughs> so if I would've did that to a Mizuno, I would've moved it like seven degrees. Jeez. Perfect. Okay. That felt good. There we go. There it is. Perfect. Well, mission solved. Be there. Yep. There you go. Dialed. Now that is custom. That is custom. Yeah, the only thing I have left, I don't know if you have any counterbalance one, but I'd never swung it before until yesterday. Uh, I think the only one I'm gonna have it in is probably TaylorMade. I can, is it worth yeah. trying? I mean, I've just been a little all over the place. I switched back to this Ventus. I mm -hmm. did try that, played a tournament with it. Just a ton of pushes. They're standard stealth. Yep. I get on the range and I'm just nuking them. I get on the course and that could be a golfer thing. You know, iron's not so much, but the tee shots are where I get. When just, I see that with most guys, because you put a driver or a three wood in our hands and we swing harder. Yeah. So, so I think I'll start with the current setup and then just see. That felt really good. There it is. All right, those are good, two good ones. Okay. I've been predominantly left with this club. Okay, hang on a second. How's the best one? No, about three, four yards. Yeah, I just wonder. Yeah, because if... the launch and spin both went up. If only one of them would have gone up, we probably would have seen a distance gain. Yep. Um, I'm gonna switch back to the uh, original. Yeah, that's the weird feeling right there. That's the best shot. Oh gosh, you know what? I forgot to take it off the draw setting. Yep. That could be partly why I've been sitting on the left side. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Nothing to change. Well, the magic happens again. Just trust it. Got to trust it. You got to trust uh -huh. it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the spin's fine. Everything's... Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Your expertise is always most appreciated. That's a so, wrap. So anything else? No, sir. All ready Good for deal. the tourney on Monday.